aren't here will be coming in a bit. Dr. Steele has to run to get her, her son. So say hi to her really quick if you've not said hi to her. But all the rest of us are just hanging out. And please do come and just say hi and, and introduce yourselves and, and we'll chat. No, no, so we just want to go down the line and introduce ourselves. Oh, sorry. So I'm Sean Anderson. I'm the chair of ESRM. I'm Zach. I'm Lab Tech. <laughs> an alum. An alum. An alum. Program. I was once you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Russell. Lecturer. Hi, <laughs> Russell. <laughs> <laughs> understated. Understated. I'm I'm Dan Randeman. I am also a professor in the program, and I lecture, you know. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Kiki Patch, professor in the program. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, okay, so we're just going to run through a few things really quickly just to give you some information, then you can go back to like, what you were doing. Um, and so we had a couple topics we're just going to go through in no particular order, but there's IRA trips which are the trips that are funded by the fees that everyone pays in the SRM. Tradition does really fun, cool IRA trips. Yup, the best ones. Have so, who here has already been on an IRA trip? Let's see. Oh yeah. One, these two, are people you might have talked to. Oh, yeah, so Kat, Viviana, Rihanna all went to Maui to study humpback whales with me last year. That was super cool. So I said about that experience. And then you're not going to Maui this year. Where are we going this year? Where are we going this year? This year we're going to a new trip to uh, Baja, uh, Mexico, yep, California. Yeah, so the one faculty is not here. Emily Fairfax, also a faculty member. She and I are running a trip called Data Without Borders. That will be sort of a mix of um, data visualization and communication in bilingual um, communities, which will be great. Cause but that's okay, we'll all be learning, and so we'll be going to Toto Santos in Baja Sur and learning, doing some stuff with drones and data and field work, and it should be really fun. Spring, spring class, spring class. That's a spring class. So when are people applying? People that? should be applying once we get the sort of real green light, which is, you know, almost green. We'll send out an announcement on our community board to say it's time to apply, but that should be within the next, like, two or three weeks. And then we also hopefully be going to New Orleans, which we do every year. Um, the only break we had was the two years during the pandemic when no one was allowed to go anywhere. But um, uh, that one's also a little bit up in the air because of some new state laws that say we can't spend state money in Louisiana. So we're trying to figure that one out. Um, but both of these, generally speaking, October comes around, um, and that's when we announce it. And then we have some information sessions. So all these, you guys can come and ask questions about stuff, price and logistics and stuff. And then usually apply. And, and if we only have a certain, and they're open to everybody across campus, so it's not just the SRM, although the SRM tends to often populate many of our classes. So we, we have an application process, and then you know, like Halloween time-ish, uh, the faculty make the call, assuming there's more people apply than we have slots for. And then so you guys know way ahead of time before you register for classes that that's a class. And all these classes count for upper division electives. So um, so they, they count towards graduation. It's not just something you're doing on top of other things. And you can also, some of them can also count for um, your uh, certificate technology. Other cool things we do with IRA funds are take you guys out to the Channel Islands. Dr. Ryan can tell us about that. Uh, the National Parks class also does trips. Are you doing any trips this week? Uh, we're waiting to see, but we're hoping to go out to Out to the Channel Islands to our, our, our nearest national park. Um, so those funds. The, funds they, they fund the food you're eating and, and the shirts you put on. Yeah. This is IRA right here. <laughs> That's <laughs> hard on. Um, <laughs> So 100 students, we're getting IRA funding to go to the islands, right? So the IRA is a good thing. If you're, it might be a class, it might be program-wise, just stay tuned for announcements about those. One of the ways we make announcements to like the all ESRM communities is the ESRM Community Canvas Group. Um, everybody receive those. If you're not nodding and putting your hand in the air, please come and talk to any of us, and we will get you into that Canvas Group. But it's sort of your one-stop source for program information announcements about things like this, but also these IRA trips that are super cool we're talking about. Um, we also have a jobs listserv where when we as faculty like find out about cool opportunities for students or alumni, we send those out to groups. If you have not been added to that list, if you don't get ESRM ops, ESRM opportunities, emails, come and talk to me and I'll make sure you get on that list. So those are sort of two ways the program communicates. There's okay. really good jobs on there right now. There's a sustainability officer at Disney World, which looks really cool. So there's always like random jobs on there. Definitely get on it. Uh, 
So it's about advising stuff? Yeah, so um, uh, we have, uh, you guys can always come talk to any ESRM faculty member about we have questions and career ideas and stuff. But for formal things, for like, hey, I want to make sure I'm going to get these classics, I want to graduate next semester, or I took this class at this community college over the summer, can, I, can it count towards whatever? Um, that, that falls under our advising rubric. And, and um, we'll, I'll blast it out again, but we have a new little link that makes it easy. It's ESRM, bit.ly.esrm help. And that'll take you to a, a Google form. And now you just say, hey, I want to, I have, I'm having some questions about my, my graduation planning or, or whatever, right? Or fill that out. And then at the end of that, make a, uh, there's a link for a Calendly. So, so we all have slightly different ways to make meetings, schedule meetings with us. Mine is a Calendly link. So just click that and you come on over and you say, hey, Dr. A, I want to meet with you at your office hours at this time. This semester, I have office hours face-to-face, -face, Mondays at tortillas, Monday midday at tortillas, and then Wednesdays for about three hours, all on Zoom. And so we, those could be in person, but by default they're in Zoom, so a lot of people find the mix, you know, having some face-to-face -face and some Zoom, good. So, um, so that's the way you, get, you can get me. And so for all official things, you can talk to me. If your advising question is something <coughs> about a GE, I, I, I took this this English class, this community college, whatever. That stuff that's not major, that's handled by the regular advising folks. So if it's one of those issues, um, you gotta talk to them. But for anything related to the major department, you guys, you guys uh, come see me this this semester. And uh, I'll look at it. You want to introduce our distinguished guests who just arrived for a start? Oh, look at the people that just the dean's office just walked in from the back. Look. Uh, uh, Lori, say hello. This, this is our new like person that makes everything work here. Yes. Uh, and then in the back, we have three, three, three doctors. There's Dr. Coley right there on the left. She's your dean. Everybody say hello to your dean. Hi. So, and then Phil, and Dr. Hampton, Phil Hampton. Do I even say professor of chemistry anymore? Or like formally? Sure. Please. Please. So, <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, Phil is Vomita's lieutenant, and then Brian, <laughs> what, what, is, is, that, is that not right? Is that not right? Yes, it is, it is. I not just want to do your well, but I mean, but I mean like, like right hand man, or whatever I want to say. Yeah, so, and he's my right hand man. Yes, yes. I, I, I was going to use some British analogy, but because the queen just passed, that would probably be inappropriate. Oh, she died? What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Broke the news. And then, and then, hold on. And then, and then Brian in the back, Dr. Swig, is our head of safety. So welcome to this food inside. You guys grab some food. Yeah, she just died. Um, so uh, yeah, so, so for advising well, stuff, in departmental a chat, zone? chat with me. So um, but I really, really encourage like, all of you like for career thing. stuff to talk yeah. to all of us. We all have different experiences. We came from different places. We, we work in different domains. So bounce ideas off people, right? Hey, I'm thinking about doing a semester abroad. Let me talk to you. Dr. Ryan about that. Let me talk to Dr. Patch about that. Yeah, they have to go so so use all of these resources. I know a lot of us, um, we have different styles, and some of you guys are like, oh, I really gravitate to Dr. Patch or whatever, and that's awesome. But don't only gravitate to one of us. To take advantage of this opportunity to, to hang out with all of us. And I don't, I don't mean hang out today, I mean, I mean throughout your career here, right? Come to our office hours. Even if you don't have a class with one of us, come to our office hours, say hi. That's really, really important for your guys' development and growth, and it helps us know you all. So when the things that Dr. Ryman just mentioned, the job opportunities, sometimes it's, can you guys post this? It's like, okay. Other times, which is very common, it's like, hey, Sean, I need somebody tomorrow. I gotta hire somebody tomorrow. There's no time to do anything. So that those are the kind of things I need to go, oh, who likes birds? Oh, right. So, or, or who likes drone, or who can fly drone, right? So, so if we don't have that knowledge, just sort of, you know, because you're in a class with us or talking to us, we, we, we can't help you out. So, so come say hi. Uh, I think the last thing that we want to do before we let you sort of mingle and chat and come and get a shirt and a hat or a hat um, is we have a bunch of representatives from a bunch of really amazing student organizations on campus today. And so we want to give each of them just a quick moment to, to sort of pitch what they do. Um, and maybe since the attention is up here, you all can kind of percolate to the front. Um, and then we'll just go down the line. But for all of you that aren't yet involved in all of the many really awesome student clubs and organizations on campus, this is a fantastic way to get involved, not just in this community here, but the wider campus community, and then our wider surrounding community. Um, it's a great way to get experience that you can put on your resume. It's a great way to learn skills that will lead to new and interesting things. It's a great way to build leadership experience. Once you start getting involved and in running the clubs yourself, 
All of those things will help you a lot after you leave this place. Um, and so we have a bunch of great clubs represented here today. Uh, and so come on, come on up. So this is Audubon. You guys should go first. Just really, it's just like a quick pitch. Who are you? What is it that you do? And why should students come be a part of your club? Okay, hi, I'm Clara McNamara. I'm not in their club. This is my advisor, Dad's club. I did mean to drop it. Uh, no, that was good. I like that. That was good. But you may have seen me very dorkily raise my hand when Sean was like, who likes birds? It's me. So Channel Islands Audubon is the bird club. That's a poor name for it. We do a lot of stuff. But uh, basically, we're a student conservation chapter that works under the Hura Audubon. Um, and we like to do a lot of volunteering on Mormon Beach. We do uh, beach cleanups, and we work in the garden, and we do art nights, and that stuff like that. But our main concern is working with the birds. So, if you like birds, if you like volunteering. Birds are cool! Yeah. Birds are so cool! Thank you, that was perfect. Yeah. Um, Jonathan, come on back. Tortillas, we're gonna do a short bird walk. Don't need to know anything about birds. Come join us if you wanna talk, meet some people. Thank you. Okay, Brianna Torres. more 
information about all these things out yeah. on the campus. Oh, yeah. You're not on it, you're uh, to us. I also have the QR code. I'm going to put them up in the classroom and outside um, so you guys can scan ours for people to clean up. Um, so I think, thank you. Um, any other like clubs in Oregon? I know some GIS team helpers here. You guys maybe, maybe Dr. Pastor, Bruce, that. Oh, yeah. So if any of you guys are in any classes that require the computers, whether it's your statistics class or your GIS class, you have some awesome peers. Raise your hand if you're a GIS uh, student learning facilitator. Where is our facilitator? Yeah, yeah. What? There's more than just Brian. Yeah. Brian's got like yeah. head down and yeah. put his hand up. One's running the lab right now. Which made west? Which made west? Uh, Ventura, one on Donnelly. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. So, like, lots of super great ways to get involved, to get leadership experience, to get research experience, to get other cool experience, to meet oh, each other. Cool experience. One more thing. AARR. Oh. Well, yeah, so the other club I'll just say before I do AAR is um, so we have our uh, Go real scuba, fast. scuba fellowship club. So that's for folks that want to um, either are scuba divers or want to become scuba divers. Um, we have a research dive program here, but we don't have any research divers. So it's hard to get it's hard to get projects going and don't have a cadre of folks. So what happens now is people, a student or two will get research certified and I'll send them to Northridge or UCSB to work on projects. So if we get a cadre of more folks interested, safety training, all that good stuff, then we can actually start spinning up more projects. So, the, so um, scuba fellowship is another student club uh, uh, President Jamie Ferns is not here, but um, but check out that one as well. And then I'll just mention also uh, AARR. In, in, before I mention that though, Dr. Patch mentioned the GIS lab, right? A lot of times that's open. Our labs are right here. If there isn't a class in there, a lot of times they're open. Historically, meaning before the pandemic, we have lots of students in there working on projects, volunteering with on somebody's projects, who have a project or capstone project. The the uh, cap the um, pandemic sort of. We're all away from each other. We're back now. We're back. back. And so, and so, um, you guys should come by. If you're, if you're going from class or whatever, swing by and just see who's hanging out here, right? This is a space for you. We want to do it safely and everything, right? But, but, but this is a place for you guys to hang out. And what we historically did is students didn't know anything came into the GIS lab to, to our, our robotics research lab and just sort of said, I volunteer. I want to do something. And they start, and that's how they start, right? That's how you guys all start. And so that got hard when everybody was away and people felt that I had to be an expert before I put a toe in this water. No, 
You guys should come by, pop your head in. Can I volunteer? Do you need any help, etc.? One of the best ways to do that is we have a weekly lab meeting, Fridays at 12. Um, it's in the tech lab right here, in the lab right just here to the left. Um, but if, uh, if you can't make it, we also have a, we have a Zoom option, so people at work, whatever, they can Zoom in. And that's just a quick touch base for the projects we're working on. If, you, if you've not volunteered, you want to get on a project, come. We'll introduce you and start figuring out what your interests are and start plugging you on. Tomorrow, I have a, <laughs> my annual physical got moved to tomorrow. So we're actually not having a meeting tomorrow, so they won't be there. I'll be, uh, I don't know, somebody will be saying cough or something on my dad or something. Uh, so, so not tomorrow, but any other Friday, come to here or, or send me an email. We'll get you on the Zoom link. And that, that's our AAR Aerial and Aquatic Robotic Research Group, but we do more than just Aerial and Aquatic Robotic Research. Okay, so two last things really quick. Uh, Dr. Emily Fairfax, I want to just say a quick hello. 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 Hi. This is Dr. Emily Fairfax. She's a professor in the SRM. Um, nice New York Times article, by the way. Yeah. That was really awesome. You should go and talk to her about it. Uh, so then the second thing is, please come up, check in, get a hat or a shirt. Please get lunch. Please hydrate because it's hot as uh, There are cold drinks. Uh, and then just hang out. We're just going to be hanging out and eating and hanging out. Uh, so thank you all very much for coming. Um, uh, it's, uh, it was a really good year.